all costs. And I appreciate Holland because they don't really believe in preventative care. They oh, do. great. When something goes wrong, then you go in and you got to wait like three weeks. Uh, and like most, uh, what do you call them? Like physicals in the States uh, where you do the whole head to toe. People don't start Jenny's doing heart. Jenny's heart felt like public service announcement of like, go get your breasts examined is just like thwarted by Cassie's <laughs> like, I fucking love Holland because we don't have to do shit out here. It's true. This don't is going to age so well. Cassie's going <laughs> to die in 10 years and then we're going to have to repost this being like. Don't say that. Okay. Everyone knock See on wood. <laughs> See what happened because she didn't do the boob sandwich. <laughs> I'll be back in the States. I think we should challenge eventually. Instagram and our and our followers. Like, like you know, I mean, it's probably, like, <laughs> I'm not saying that, I'm not saying, like, Cassie's old or anything, but, like, <sighs> it's kind of one of those things. I will go get a prostate exam and uh, Cassie will get a breast exam done. I legally yes. don't have to, what legally, what, what age do they tell you you have to go do it? They say. 30. No. No, not 30. It's, I, Isn't it 30? No. They, I thought it was 40. Back. It's 30 for men. They go back and forth, guys. Um, Make up and, your and some people have done 40. Um, it was told to me that it was a good idea after 35 for me. None of us are medical professionals. So if you're listening to us right now, do not base your decisions off anything that we're saying. I'm going to go to Google. I, okay. So I have four years at the very least then. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Are we yeah. going to the 40 mark? No, 35. You asshole. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. It's fine to be 30. Age 45. 45. Google says it's age 45. According to Health Instagram. If you wait too um, long, Cassie, you won't get that. Standard approach for screen cancer. Right? Testing. Exactly. If you wait right. too long, you won't that get that really cool young tissue comment. Mm. Hey, I need it that badly in my I'm life. for it. I get anxiety going to the doctors. It'll kill me quicker than a mammogram will. Oh, God. I got to get right. off Google. I'm off Google now. Yeah, get off Google. And, <laughs> I'm done. Um, what semi weird things? For me, uh, so we went to Austria um, last weekend. And the primary reason we went to Austria is because I am a huge Krampus fan. And in the States, it's called Krampus. People might know it as Krampus. Yeah, I had an argument with somebody about that. I said, I love the movie Krampus. And they're like, you mean Krampus? And I'm like, no, I mean Krampus. <laughs> no. And they're like, you're saying it wrong. And I said, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, good, good on you, because they are. Um, it looks like Krampus. If you've never heard of it, like people would probably pronounce it that way. But over here, it's it's Krampus. Um, you know, sound differently in here. So we went to this festival. Firstly, Salzburg is amazing. If you have the opportunity to go, please go. But we went to this festival where, um, so for those who don't know what Krampus is, it is a it is the antithesis of Santa Claus, which is Santa Claus here. So. It is a part demon, part spirit, part goat-like creature um, that punishes the bad children instead of getting rewarded by Santa Claus. Uh, the United States equivalent would be coal in your stocking, which is super fucking lame. I think we need to change this tradition, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> we need more Krampus in our lives. So these, the Krampus run, as they call it, but it's a parade, essentially. Um, everyone's lying the streets. They have the streets blocked off, and there are different groups that'll come through. So I'm assuming I can't, I can't read German, but I'm assuming the signs said like, hey, we're from the 4-H club, things like that. Um, and they have just a gathering of people dressed up as Krampus. So they had tall Krampuses, kid Krampuses, like all sorts of interesting creatures. They had big, uh, a few of them had these big Krampus, are they called carriage the Krampi? You know, that sounds right. <laughs> okay, Krampi. we'll just say Krampi. Uh, a group of Krampuses. A Krampi. Yeah, that, um, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, 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 also, I wish I could think of something more creative, but I think that's what I'm going to call it. So there's different groups of Krampi that come through <laughs> and they do their own thing. So we were in the beginning when they first come out. So like everyone's really jazzed when they first come out, these, these Krampuses and they like run up to you and they like try to shake the gate and like the, like the Krampis come to like attack you and it's awesome. And there's these huge horns and some of them glow and they're just doing these maniacal things in the street. And it's amazing. I was living for it. They came out with um, two groups had like this huge carriage thing made of what looked like wood and bones. And they're like beating drums on top and the crump eye on it were going nuts. And they had one in a cage in the back. It was like shake at the cage. It was awesome. I highly recommend it. It was so cool. It was like a demon parade and I just lived for it. And but you've they- got videos and photos. So many videos. Uh, I didn't take as many photos. Carson took some photos, but I was like videoing everything because I wanted to relive it. So I do have this on video as well. Um, 
one of, <laughs> so we were about two rows back. So we're row two essentially of all the people trying to like get up close to the crumb pie via the gate in the parade. And this one crumb pie comes running towards the gate and the two uh, people in front of me, like an older couple that have clearly done this before split ways. So I'm standing there like a moron, <gasps> like smiling. So I'm having like the best time of my life. <laughs> crump eye comes and steals my hat and runs away with it into the middle of the street and stuffs it in his mouth Ooh. yeah and then just stands there looking at me with his hands on his hips like what you gonna do bitch and i'm looking around like what do i do and like three austrians behind me are like you gotta go get it like if, if they take something you you only are gonna get it back if you go get it so i'm like well shit so i slide like i, I like <laughs> what is it called limbo my way underneath this bar um and the minute i stand back up in the middle of this parade of crump eye this monster <laughs> this crumpus comes after me grabs me like it looks like a serious attack it looks way more violent than, <laughs> than it felt because it's pretty soft he's made of fur right so i get attacked and he like noogies me and then he kind of lets me go gives me my hat back and then like noogies me again and then he takes me with one arm he's much larger than i am and then has a whip in his right hand and just whips me, which <laughs> was awesome. This is getting kind of like this is I'm getting like, a little bit pinky. It was like so I'm good. actually like I'm actually so in, I'm I'm envisioning like Cassie like just nuzzling into the 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 crump eyes like hairy chest and be like yes <laughs> so yes. Fun. Yes, yes, demon spawn that steals the bad children. Please. It was so good. It was so <laughs> much fun. So then after he whipped me, I get returned to the crowd and I have to like limbo under and everyone's like, good job. Good Carson's, job. Carson's <laughs> looking at you like, really? Like seriously? He was recording the whole thing. He's like, are you happy now? I'm like, yes, that's Christmas ever. Are you happy now? <laughs> so much fun oh are we gonna have dinner need, with him later Carson, Carson, we need to find you some we need to find you some hooves to wear well that's so funny you bring that up um <gasps> so we were like the next day i was reliving this moment uh and he's he had had the, he had taped the video so i had to rewatch it and i'm like hey like would you bang me as krampus and he's like what <gasps> oh my god he's like what and i'm like like, if we were to find, like, a purpose outfit, would, like, would that be something you'd be into? And he's like, I seriously have concerns about you. <laughs> I'm like, think about it. Get back to me later. Mail me a letter. We'll talk about it then. Like, let's talk later. Just and then you're it. like, but what if I got a Krumpus? Yeah. And then I'm Googling Krumpus outfit. you. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there's anything Krampus. different but between asking your girl to dress up like in a maid outfit or nurse's outfit or things like that. Girls just have a girls that that dark place like brings out kind of an interesting little in in, in interesting women like yourselves. It brings out an interesting little sexy spot, and you should definitely Carson definitely get some hooves, get like a little get a little fur get a little pair of fur pants. You're good to go, man. Big giant horns. Get a merkin. <laughs> need a lot more than that but <laughs> <laughs> i got a tail for him so i got a furry creature thing going for him i think the least he can do is crumpus it up once for me it's just oh, God. i'm not gonna push it hard until next year i'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it simmer but yeah no. it should be an annual thing like is it <gasps> is it crumpus eve yet crumpus eve, which is the sixth of december in case you're wondering my <laughs> oh. uh-huh uh-huh. Next year, I'm hoping um, my sister on, so we had the sh on the show not too long ago. Um, she just had her baby, by the way, but they want to. Oh, oh, congratulations. Yeah, so if I get to, thank you, if I get to stay in Europe for another year, fingers crossed. Uh, <gasps> she wants to come out with the baby and her husband and go to the Munich Krampus Festival next year. So And dress the baby up as oh, a yeah. baby Krampus. Yes. You know what's oh, my Krampus. God, a baby Krampus. Okay, so Brian, I'll send you a video. You're going to love it. But there were certain groups of Krampi. I was saying earlier, one mm -hmm. of them was a few of them had children. So you watch, you watch the, and they're dressed up just like the adults, but they're tiny. And you watch these <laughs> crump eye come like, like charging Yoda. the gates. Yes, exactly. So the big adults are like running up and, you know, causing chaos. And then the babies come out and they're just like waving, <laughs> just like, oh. waving. 
and it's the cutest thing you've ever seen most adorable little actors oh it was so much fun the um the one video that i have i'm gonna watch all of the ones that you're sending me so many yeah but um the one i remember that we will also post can you describe the big bells oh yeah the, the beginning ceremony so <laughs> you can see we're right in the front of the parade so you can see there's this huge line of crump the lineup is, is set right and all of a sudden you start hearing these bells that sound a lot like drums like they're huge it's not like a ding 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 it's like a doof, doof, doof kind of bell mm-hmm. uh, and there's like eight guys i think there's about eight of them that come out of nowhere essentially and stand in the middle of the parade route and they have these bells now, if you know what a kilt looks like, it has that front flap. The bells are as big as the front flap. So these bells had to weigh 30 plus pounds, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I was going to say like 50 pounds. They're huge. Um, so they're tied to their waist and they, they're, they're square. So they rest on their knees. So they're, they're, they're kind of half squatting, half standing position. And the way they make the bells ring, there's two ways that I noticed. It's either moving your hands, like kind of like moving it manually with your hands up and down like you're doing it from behind yeah like from the top of the bell which sits on your hip bones essentially yeah like kind of humping the bell yeah Mm -hmm. so there's some arm movement ones and then it turned into pure just bell fucking hip thrusting where we Carson and I were like what uh, what's happening it was like I will we'll post the video but it was eight guys in a circle humping these bells making the loudest um song call i don't know if it's a compass call (laughs) i don't know what you would call that but it was insane bill i'm sending it to you brian it was magical i don't know if the audio is clear enough yeah maybe you should post i don't know if audio would be clear to play right now no 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 it won't be but i'll post it on our stuff because they at first you're like okay all right and then you're like wow and then sometimes they give Uh each other this look like Oh, are you giving it to your bell? Oh, I'm giving it to my bell. <laughs> so oh, are true. you giving it to your bell? Oh, good, 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 good. And you can tell uh-huh. at some point they have done this without the bells. Yeah. It, okay, I am like, I am legitimately like annoyed right now with Cassie. Why? Because like, she's I living do? your bell. Because I went to a crub and snot last night in our town mm-hmm. and the cool, I mean, literally we had candle makers and shit. I mean, we didn't have anything fucking cool. Nobody was dressed up as crub oh. and like, I got to go to Holland. Yeah. Is Austria. Okay. So um, it originated in Northern Austria. So I recommend Northern Austria, Austria, Bavaria uh, apparently has the largest festival in Munich, parts of Greece celebrate it. And also parts of Northern Italy have the traditional oh, compass festivals. So that's amazing. Uh, any of those areas would be good. Depends on like which part of the uh, Europe you'd like to see, I suppose. Um, mm. It is something to come out and see though. Like I would come from the States to do a festival here. It's, it was awesome. Oh, I'm so- bell humping, mini crump crumpuses, crump eye. Yeah. Yeah. cat stealing, getting whipped. It was just a riot. It was amazing. Setting up plans with Carson. Yep, making plans for the future. <laughs> <laughs> it is something to see. And we also had Kevin with us, which was nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so- I have purposely not talked to you about this. Oh, Kevin, <laughs> sweet baby. Yeah, Kevin. T- mm-hmm. talk to us about Kevin. So. As we wander through the Christmas streets of Salzburg, there are many a markets, Christmas markets, and many of them have food. And as we're wandering uh, in the food area, we notice this woman that makes ginormous gingerbread men, among other things. But they're the most ornately decorated, adorable gingerbread men that are probably about eight inches tall, maybe uh, mm-hmm. four inches width wise. And we decided to buy one and we took him everywhere with us and we started taking pictures. We named him Kevin and we started taking pictures with him in front of all sorts of scenery that we encountered in um, Salzburg. And we, we took bites out of him every now and then because we got hungry, but he went back in his bag afterwards <laughs> and would look over the views of Vienna. He went ice skating with us in Vienna. He went to Krumpus. He enjoyed it very much. Uh, he lost part of his head there, so he wasn't too pleased with that. But other than that, I think he had a pretty good time. He uh, waved us off from our from our lovely, beautiful home in Salzburg that we rented. Uh, he enjoyed that very much. 
and he's actually here today. Uh, we still have, our guests, so we're thinking about, we go to Spain in a couple of weeks. So we're thinking uh-huh. about to Spain too. So Kevin might get to see Spain as well. How much of him is left? Are you going to let him keep his eyes or are you, have yeah. you strategically thought about how you're going to? Yeah, we want to work, uh, work around. 